Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix the Fortnite crashes in Season 8. So if your game is crashing while you're in game or before you start a game or if Fortnite is not opening for you, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. And before we start, I just want to say check out my video on how to increase FPS in Fortnite in Season 8. And now we can start. So basically what you want to do is go to this PC, so click open that. And now go to where you have uh, Epic Games and Fortnite installed. So mine is at local disk C. So I'm gonna open local disk C. Uh, now what you want to do is go to program files. Go to Epic Games. Open that. Now open Fortnite. Now what you want to do is click on Fortnite game. Now click on binaries. Now open Win64, so double click on that. And now what you want to do is just double click on BattleEye. Okay, and now what you want to do is just simply click on uninstall BattleEye.bat, B-A-T. So just double click on that. It says would you like to uninstall the BattleEye servers from your system, click on yes. Click on yes again and this should be done quickly, there it is. It says BattleEye service has been uninstalled. Now what you want to do is just click on install BattleEye.bat. So just click on that. Click on yes and BattleEye should be installed on your PC. And basically that's it. That's the first fix. Okay. Now uh, I want you to restart the game and see if this fix works for you. If it didn't, then we can move on to the second fix. And basically for the second fix, you not, just need to go back to the Win64 folder. So there it is, the Win64 folder. And now what you want to do is just scroll down and find the applications. Okay, so there they are, uh, these four, application, four applications. And what you want to do now is just uh, right click on Fortnite client Win64 shipping.exe. So right click on that and click on properties okay now once you once you do that the properties should be uh, opened and now what you want to do is just go to compatibility okay and now click on disable full screen optimizations so you want to have that checked and you want to check run this program as an administrator okay now once you do that just click on apply so remember, you need to check the disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. And once you do that, just click on apply and click on OK. And basically what you want to do is just do the same thing for the Fortnite client Win64 Shipping BE, Fortnite client Win64 Shipping EAC and Fortnite Launcher. So just do the same. Right click, properties, compatibility. Disable full screen optimization, run this program as an administrator, and apply. Okay, and now once you're done, you can just close the uh, you can close the window and just restart Fortnite and see if this fixed your uh, your problem. Okay, and the third fix is to open Fortnite. Okay, once you open the game go into settings and this should be this should come up and now what you want to do here is just lower the settings a little bit and see what works for you so I would recommend just setting the 3d resolution to around I don't know 70% at, at least maybe even lower uh, I would recommend setting the window mode to full screen uh, set the frame rate uh, to unlimited Set the view distance to epic because this may help you gain a little bit of advantage in your games. And basically you can just set everything else to off or low. Set shadows to off, anti-aliasing to off, textures to low, effects to low, post-processing to low. Turn off v-sync because you, really, uh, you don't need that. Uh, turn off motion blur and you can just turn off or turn on show FPS depending on what you like. And basically that's it for the in-game settings. 
I would recommend just playing a little bit with the settings and with these settings and seeing what works for you. And basically that's it. Okay, and the fourth fix is to click on the search bar and type registry editor. And there it is, it should come up. Open that and this should open. Now what you want to do is go to HQ local machine, so just click on the arrow next to it. Click on the arrow next to system. Now what you want to do is go to current control set. Go to control. And now what you want to do is open graphics drivers. Actually just click on that. So let me just find that. It should be under G. And let's just... Okay, so there it is, graphics drivers. What you want to do is just click on that, don't click on the arrow, you want to open the graphics drivers. And now what you want to do is basically create a file and you can do that by right clicking on graphics drivers. So right click on the, uh, on the name, click on new and click on the word 32 bit value. So click on the word 32 bit value Okay, and uh, just name it TDR level. So make sure that uh, be sure that the T and R and L are capital letters. So it should be TDR level, and click on enter. Now what you want to do is just double click on that and make sure that is uh, that the value data is zero. If it's one, just change it to zero. If it's zero, just leave it as uh, as it is, and click on OK. Okay, and now you can close the registry editor. And the fifth fix is to open the task manager. So you can do that by right clicking on the uh, task bar and click on task manager. Or just simply uh, click on the search bar and type task manager in the, uh, in the search bar. Now what you want to do once it's uh, open you want to go to the uh, startup tab. Okay, and now what you want to do is to disable OEM, my color 2, uh, cell LED V2, or lightning service.exe. So, as you can see, I don't have uh, either of these, so I don't have them. But if you have them, then you want to disable them, and what uh, you can do that by just clicking on them and just click on disable. So. Let me show you, uh, for example, this is enabled, as you can see, you need to click on that and click on disable. Okay, and basically the last fix is if nothing, uh, uh, nothing else works for you, then just go and verify the game or just uninstall it. And you can do that by going to add, uh, going to add or remove programs. So just click on the search bar and type add or remove programs. And open the system settings. So now I just scroll down and find the Epic Games launcher. Okay, so there it is. And what you want to do is click on that and click on uninstall. And then just reinstall the game from scratch. Basically that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment.